All right, this is the second neighborhood you're going to visit. Uh, you take a look here, what we're looking at in terms of a neighborhood. It looks a little bit different than the first one. Um, you can see some of the different details here. And yes, you could consider this a neighborhood. So what you're going to do is read section four, urbanization creates new problems to learn about problems resulting from Mexico City's rapid growth. What you're going to do is complete part one of the reading notes for neighborhood visit number two. So it's the exact same process that you went through for um, neighborhood visit number one. Now we're repeating it here with different information for neighborhood visit number two. Um, I don't need to check your answers. We'll go over them as a group. So um, now's a perfect time to hit pause in our video. Uh, to go ahead and read section four and fill out the reading notes uh, for neighborhood visit number two. All right, so hopefully you got your reading notes completed, the first couple of questions um, there for part one, but we made it. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get out of the taxi and meet the next person that you're going to interview. Uh, listen carefully uh, as your guides interview this man and then what you're going to do is record some of that information uh, for your survey in part two of your reading notes. Um, interviewees will answer some but not all of the questions so listen carefully to the ones that they do and remember you can always rewind um, and listen to it again. So here we go let's listen to the interview and see what kind of information we can get. Señor Alvarez. Hola María, bienvenidos, bienvenidos. He is welcoming us. Gracias, señor Álvarez. He asked if we need anything from the market next door. I think he's proud to have his shoe shop next to the market. Let's ask. Este es un buen lugar para su negocio? Sí, sí. Es una buena localización. Todos necesitan comer, ¿no? He says everyone eats. So everyone walks by on their way to the store, and they are reminded of their shoes. It's natural, he says. ¿Tiene hijos? Sí, tengo tres hijas muy hermosas, pero hermosas. She asks if he has children. Yes, three beautiful daughters. Oh, three beautiful, beautiful daughters. Now they are at school, and then they will come here. His girls go to private school near here. It is very expensive to go to private school, but the Señor Álvarez knows how important education can be to their future. Better jobs, better housing, better everything. He didn't get past primary school and hopes for a better life for his daughters. He also recognizes that 66% of the children in this area attend schools past the primary grades, and that is also good for his children. ¿Cómo es la vida por aquí? What is it like to live in this neighborhood? Hay mucha gente aquí en la DF. Because there are so many people, there is a lot of crime on the streets. But this area is safer than others. The government recognizes the need to protect the businesses of hardworking people. There are almost 800 police officers assigned to this neighborhood. He says without the police, they would have no business. And without his business, he and his family would not eat. ¿Usted sabe qué tan densa es la población aquí? Jose is asking about this area's population density. Muy populada, muy populada. ¿Conocen Los Ángeles, California? He says it is very crowded. Do you know how many people live in Los Angeles? Hay 34 Here in Mexico City, there are nearly 34,000 people per square mile. That is five times greater than in Los Angeles. Five times as many. Can you imagine? The great number of people makes everything harder. He says he's lucky to have this business next to the market, and he feels confident his family will be okay. He's able to take care of his daughters, his beautiful, beautiful daughters. Señor Álvarez, gracias por su tiempo. Por favor, dígale a sus estudiantes que fue un placer conocerles. Por favor, regresen. It was nice to meet you, he says, and we are welcome to come back any time we need you. All right, so hopefully you were able to gather some information through that interview. I think he gave a lot of good information, uh, a little bit different than the first neighborhood. Uh, but if you didn't catch it all, no worries. We'll get back in our taxi, and we'll take a look here. Um, at the maps again on the handout that'll help you fill out the rest of the survey there so we can kind of figure out which neighborhoods are which um, here in the federal district uh, otherwise known as Mexico City. 
so now you're going to complete part three uh, of your reading notes, um, and we'll talk about some of those things here as a class. So uh, complete your sections, do what you got to do. Parts one, two, and three should be complete now, um, and this should help you do that. So if you have questions, of course, talk to your uh, shoulder partner, and if you have more questions, talk to your table. If you have more questions, come talk to Mr. O. All right, uh, we'll see you at the next neighborhood.